Shalom and greetings, everybody. Brother Nicholas James Vanderlane, Victory for the People of Israel from By the Narrow Path, which are the Ten Commandments. Today is the 19th day of the 11th month on Elohim's Enoch solar calendar. It is February 5th, 2020, and this video is being presented from the country of Cyprus. This video is titled 2020 to 21 Heavenly Signs on the Enoch Calendar. In this video, we're going to be looking at potential possible signs that are coming up this calendar year. Psalm 19, 1 through 6 says, The heavens declare the glory of Elohim, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their works to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it. There is nothing hid from the heat thereof. I believe I've identified what the tabernacle for the sun is, and the bridegroom is a chamber running to run his race, and this is talking about a circuit. I'm working on another video that I hope to produce tomorrow, but just to give you a quick sneak peek on this video, this is speaking of the spring equinox. The sun goes into the tabernacle, which is the spring equinox, and it comes out the following day on the new year to run its race, and its race is like a circuit in the heavens, north, south, back to north. The race is 364 days. We don't count the 365th day of the equinox because that is the day the sun is in the tabernacle. Luke chapter 21, verse 25, this is Master Yeshua speaking. And he said, There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Now, we know that we've seen the Revelation 12 wonder, and it was like a sign, and we know that another sign is supposed to happen in Revelation chapter 12, verse 2 to 5, which is the red dragon sign. And then we also know that there's another sign in Revelation chapter 15, verse 1, Yeshua also talked about the sign of the Son of Man, which I'm still speculating on what possibly that could be. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look. I went through Stellarium, and I looked at uh, the coming sign, possible signs. These are possible uh, solar, these are celestial events that are happening in the sky that Yeshua talked about there being multiple signs, plural. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. Now here are the signs on the Enoch calendar that we have coming up. So here is a very long list of possible signs, and some of these you're going to find very significant possibilities that we should take a look at. The first event, even though it doesn't, even though the spring equinox is not the first day of the of the year, um, it is the day in between the years, as I explained in my previous video about the days that the kings go out for war. And what we have on that day, we have a sign on the day of the spring equinox. It's actually taking place on March 20th, 2020. It's Jupiter, the man-child star, and it's in conjunction with Mars in the archer, or the horseman, which is Sagittarius, uh, but it, it is the archer. So here we are in Stellarium, and this is the March 20th, 2020, and as you can see, this is the Mars-Jupiter conjunction in the Bowman, in the constellation of the Bowman. This is part of the Maseroth, and the ancient Sumerians, the ancient culture of the Sumerians, they actually called this the archer. Later it became the archer on the horse, and then it became a centaur, which is what they call Sagittarius, which is this rider of a half rider, rider half horse archman type deal. Could this signify uh, the rider with the bow, the rider of the white horse of Revelation? The rider of the white horse and also the end time uh, hidden servant of Isaiah 49. This sign could, on my biblical anniversary spreadsheet, and I say it's from March 19th through March 21st. So I'll go ahead and show you the action that we have here. You'll see Mars approaching Jupiter. And about this close on the 19th, it comes into conjunction close to it. Here it's side by side with it. On the 20th, Mars has passed Jupiter. And now Mars is going on to Saturn. So this event, this conjunction on the spring equinox, this sign could possibly be considered a man-child Mars conjunction, whatever this might be, but we have the man-child star here. It could be that. This is pretty significant. This is the day that kings go out for war. The following day, the sun comes out of his chamber to run the race on the 
21st, after the equinox, the sun starts the progress of running the race, which I'll be talking about in my next coming up video. The next sign that we have happening on March 30th to April 1st, 2020, there's going to be a Mars-Saturn conjunction in the GOAT. Here is the Mars-Saturn conjunction in the GOAT. Mars had just passed the Archer and was in conjunction with Jupiter. And now here Mars is in conjunction with Saturn at the head of the GOAT. Following that, we have a really interesting sign on April 3rd, 2020, which is Passover on the Enoch calendar. Now, this is the Enoch calendar that I just recalibrated with the leap day added for this current year, which means that it's going to push the Passover on the evening of April 3rd. And what we have at sunset, when the sun sets at evening, when the festival of Passover is going on, we have Venus, the evening star, in Pleiades. And the sun is setting, and this is an amazing sign. I found that this sign happens every eighth year on Passover, on the Enoch calendar, that this sign, Venus in Pleiades, really happens then. So here we are. Look at the bottom left corner. You can see that we are in Jerusalem. We are looking west on April 3rd, 2020, 4-3-2020, and we are looking west, and the sun is setting in the west. And I'm going to go ahead and play, and we're going to go ahead and see this Venus Pleiades conjunction in the west at sunset as the sun is setting uh, for the Passover meal. The Passover meal would be going on at this time. We would stay out all night, and go. we're going to go ahead and take a look at this possible sign. So the sun is set. You won't pretty bright. So yeah, you might be able to see it right around this time, which is around 7.15. Play it another hour forward. Now it's 8.15. Definitely you're going to be able to see this sign. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it. You have Venus in Pleiades on this day to the naked eye. It's going to be right next to it. And so that's a pretty cool sign that I thought that uh, it, this is a Passover sign, actually. Go ahead, go ahead and play it now on the, another hour, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Here's, here's where Venus is projected to be on the fourth day of April, April 4th, 2020. So the following day on the night of the 15th. Still looks like it's going to be in the Pleiades. The next significant sign that I noticed that we have coming up on June 21st, 2020 is the, on the summer solstice, and it's going to be a solar eclipse, an annular solar eclipse on the summer solstice, which is a pretty significant sign, I would think, in the sun and in the moon. The following sign after the summer solstice is December 14th, 2020, which is the winter solstice, and it just so happens that there's going to be a total solar eclipse on the winter solstice. So we are seeing back-to-back -back solar eclipses on the solstices, which is a very rare event. I would think that's pretty significant. I have speculated that Joshua's long day happened on the uh, summer solstice or right before it or right after it as uh, the moon and the sun were very close to each other. And it seems that the moon was dark when this happened. So I believe that Joshua's long day happened on the summer solstice. You should check out that video. But the next event, we see a series of conjunctions in the GOAT. We see Saturn-Jupiter, we see Venus-Saturn, and then we see Venus-Jupiter conjunctions, a Mercury-Jupiter conjunction, the final conjunction in the GOAT. Out of these, what are the most significant possibilities that you think? Well, everything that I do is in sequential order. I try not to get out of order as I'm doing my watch, as I'm watching what's going on. But I want to take draw our attention to the spring equinox. I just did a video on this again. Everybody should watch that video. In that video, I explain how on Enoch's solar calendar, Yahweh Elohim's only calendar, that, that the spring equinox is the 365th day of the solar cycle. It's not part of the calendar. And on that day is when kings go out for war. So that's something I'm watching. The next one that I think is pretty significant is this... Uh, is the is the uh, the Passover uh, night of Passover, which we have a Venus, the evening star in Pleiades. 
I almost, I don't know if it's called a conjunction because Pleiades is like a swarm of stars, like almost a constellation, but you don't draw the lines. And that's happening at sunset. And that's going to be a beautiful sight on that day. Now, if I calibrated the calendar without a leap day, then that day becomes the night of the 15th. Israel left Egypt on that day. So that's something to consider as well, which is still a very important day. And that's a sign to consider. The next thing, the next signs that I, I thought that's pretty interesting. Again, the, the summer and winter solstices, solar eclipses both on these days. I looked at some information on, on how frequent this happens. It's happened before through the data that I looked at. It is rare. Hopefully you're blessed by the information in this video. Please take a look out on my next video about the sun going into the tabernacle on the spring equinox in Psalm 19. Shalom.